Hey guys, Brett and I, Millimeter USA here, and today's video is going to be on the Springfield Armory Mill Spec and Stainless. This is a modernized GI style 1911, so you have a little bit wider of a beaver tail to protect your web of your hand from hammer bite. Nicer control here as far as uh, safety for a right handed shooter. I put an extended Wilson Combat Magazine release on it and a pair of uh, lock grips with the uh, penny inlaid into the grip, Boondock Saint style. So, Truth and Justice written on there. This is a really nice 1911. And again, it is a modernized GI style. So this is a 1911 government model with sights that you can see. <laughs> Let's take the first shots with it here. We're already plus one, so here we go. It is a shooter. Wilson Combat Mag up now. Mag I just shot out of it was a stock mag that came with it. Flush fitting, all metal. Springfield Armory mag. Really good trigger on this thing. It is a short style trigger as you can see right there. Let me show you the reset on it. Really nice, very positive reset. Case it right back out there for the next shot. Trigger has very minimal side to side play. No up and down play. Just a little bit of take up there and it breaks. Bretta Senior and I love this pistol so much that uh, Bretta Senior actually ended up buying himself one when we were at Keys uh, recently. He paid for this pistol right here and staying the same exact pistol, six hundred and seventy dollars. Correct, Bretta Senior? Yeah, that's right. That is one hell of a buy, you guys. That is a lot of gun for the money for an all steel forged slide, forged lower. Uh, traditional arched mainspring, as you can see right here. So the deal with the uh, Springfield Armory products, you guys, they have cast parts just like a Les Bear 1911. So you guys may know of Les Bear Custom. We own a lot of their guns as well. So you have a cast slide release, cast safety, cast beaver tail, cast mainspring housing, cast hammer. And it's just a very nice, high quality piece here. Springfield Armory does a really good job making the parts for their 1911 pistols. So you don't have to worry about any of the cast parts, just like with the Les Bear. What were you saying, Brett, here? That's right. I was just agreeing with you that it's a tremendous amount of pistol for the money. So yeah. if you guys are looking for an excellent 1911 for a great price, I think this is it. And that's why I bought one with my own money, paid retail for it in the middle of the pandemic buying. I thought this 1911 was worth buying at less than $700. That's right. Another mag here, another Wilson Combat 47D. Wilson Combat ETM. ETM single hand here. Really good shooter, guys. Last mag here for me. It is a stock Springfield Armory mag. Now, real quick, let's talk about why I wanted this gun. Now, this is kind of funny, you guys, but I wanted a 1911 style like this because of a TV show called Supernatural, okay? There's a character in that show, one of the main characters, his name is Dean Winchester, and he carries a Colt 1911 that is very similar to how this is built right here, except for it's an 80s series, and this is a traditional 70s series, so there is no firing pin block safety back here. So, traditional way the 1911 was meant to be built here. But yeah, he has a Colt 1911 like this and it's fully engraved. So after watching that show for so many years and seeing this style of 1911 in action, I wanted to get one for myself. So here it is. This is my Dean Winchester gun right here. I might send it off to get the slide engraved at some point to really, you know, go all out. But uh, just love this gun, you guys. It is fantastic. For the senior, you need to try it. All right, I'm up next. So far, so good, guys. I hope it's excellent because my copy, the one I just purchased, is sitting at home still. Give me a sec. So 
So I've got the uh, Springfield Armory mil spec in my TT gun leather holster right now. We're gonna go ahead and go straight ahead for three rounds and then I'm gonna drop to the kneeling and go the rest of the rounds 23 and a half yards that way. So 15 yards up front guys. 15 yards up front and then uh, 23 and a half yards that way. Let's do three. It's a miss. Yep, missed a couple over there. That's okay, still running 100%. Wilson Combat 10 round magazine. Two off to the left. I'm gonna go support hand here. You know, I thought I wasn't gonna like the trigger because how far back it is. I'm gonna call this the original style trigger. Yeah, it's a short. Yeah, from way back when. And uh, visually, I don't care for them as much, but I gotta say, shooting it, shoots like a dream. Yeah. Very, very nice 1911 here by Springfield Armory. A terrific first 1911, I think, for folks. That's what I wanted to know, what it shot like, how it handled, how reliable it was, and would it be a good pick for people that were looking for their first 1911. I definitely think we have answered that. One last magazine. Yeah, when I'm hurrying a lot, I'm pulling a little bit off the target, but damn thing shoots perfect. Yeah. 100% reliable, a very good looking 1911. I love the polished flats on it. It is a very striking stainless 1911. And it is that very much so old school style. Once old school is uh, cool again, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. The safety works really good. Fantastic, very positive. There's dude. no hole or anything showing right over here. So it's very well put together. Uh, pretty damn tight in the back. Yeah. And we did notice that your one that you picked up at Keys was an overall tighter 1911 as far as slide to frame. Than this? Yeah. Yeah. So this is tight. I mean, that barely moves. The yeah. one I bought doesn't move at all. Yeah. This doesn't have any movement in the barrel, neither does the other one. So guys, if you can find something like this for less than $700, which is what I found it at, $670 or whatever, some guys say they were able to find them around 600 bucks and a little bit less. I don't know if that's true. But if you can find them anywhere between $585 and $700, this is a screaming bargain. Yep, absolutely. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Red and I Millimeter USA, for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future. And support us on Patreon, if you will. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.